Hello, this is Bishop, and this is a test of Autopilot version 8.1, 2017 5022752262. And for the more observant viewers, uh, you guys might notice that I am not in my Model S. I am in a Model X today. Um, I actually have a loaner. My Model S is in for its annual maintenance, and I'm also having a high amp charger installed. I got a Model X 100D as a loaner. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and perform an autopilot test on this version because this is not a version that I ended up getting on my car. Um, I have 50.2, which is the version that I imagine that most people have since that's the one that had the Christmas Easter egg. And Tesla went and tried very hard to push that to uh, look like most of the fleet ahead of actually Christmas Day. So right now we're entering the same turn that we always enter. It went in 30 miles an hour. It was already cutting over into the center line a little bit. I think I didn't get a good launch necessarily uh, but it looks like it's handled the turn okay i apologize for the recording rig obviously i don't have my um my standard dash cam on this car that is not my own i also apologize for my voice i've got a bit of a cold so if i sound a little bit hoarse that's why and if i cough at all i'll do my best to try and edit that out of the video so now we'll do the same standard loop that we always do so go ahead and engage the autopilot here So far, I'm enjoying the Model X. Um, it's, you know, I don't regret my decision to purchase the Model S, even though this is much easier to get my kids in and out of. I definitely like the way the S looks better. It's an issue of personal preference. Um, also, a couple things that I've noticed on the loaner. On loaners, and I, some of this is common knowledge, loaners are capped to 85 miles per hour, and the speed of the uh, acceleration is also capped somewhat. That one's a little harder to quantify exactly how much, um, but it obviously doesn't have the car's full performance profile. Go ahead and make my right here, take over so we don't run over this pedestrian. Um, one other interesting thing that I noticed, and I don't understand the logic behind this one, um, autopilot seems to work perfectly fine, obviously, as I'm doing an autopilot test video, um, but highway lane change appears to be disabled. And I don't know if that's this car or if that's because it's a loaner. That seems like a very strange, very specific feature to disable on a loaner vehicle. Uh, and I'm not sure I quite understand the reasoning behind that. Go ahead and engage autopilot, we'll put it back up to 40. And this is as clear as the roads have been around here for the last few days. We've had a lot of snow. Right now, I think we're, this is, these are good conditions to be performing this test because most of the snow has actually melted off at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. So the current version that I'm running on my car is actually 50.2, and um, I'm pr it seems like I'm going to have to start coming up with more interesting tests than just the standard loop, because for the most part, the car has been doing a great job of this area that I travel through for these test videos, and I don't think that's really going to change significantly. So I may need to start coming up with more interesting and more challenging sections of road to start doing these tests on, because at this point, like a lot of these videos are basically just, hey, the car did a perfectly good job of this section over and over and over again, which doesn't really tell how autopilot is evolving. So there, the car did a perfectly good job navigating around the medians, thinking about taking the turn lane, it decides against it, as it pretty much always does. Uh, let's see what happens as we approach this intersection. It's trying to recenter itself. It's getting a little confused as the lane widened, but it didn't do anything. Uh, okay, I'm taking... All right, it got a little nervous there, which was interesting. Um, because it was a little confused by the, the lane configuration. Let's see what it does as it approaches these cars. Oh, nice. So it's still on autopilot. I did not take over. It saw the stopped cars well ahead of time and started slowing down at what I would consider to be a reasonable distance. And yes, I did check. This is an autopilot 2 car. That was pretty good. Excuse me. So re-engaging re autopilot for this portion of the loop. Looking good through here. I'm going to take over, start to turn right, and then I'm going to wait for this pedestrian to cross since he has right of way. We'll stick to our lane since it's a car turning in the opposite direction. He's going to turn to the other lane if he's doing what he's supposed to be doing anyway. And 
I'll just do this part manually since we're about to turn anyway. We'll take our right turn here and we'll finish our loop on this curvy section of road. Still don't see any evidence of speed limit sign detection or any of the other features that we've been waiting on, unfortunately. And turn the autopilot back on. We'll keep an eye out. Let's see what happens when it passes the speed limit sign. I'm guessing nothing. Nope. <coughs> yeah, one thing I've noticed is, at least in the visualization on the dashboard, um, with the 50 and up versions, it seems to have narrowed the, it seems to have um, changed the proportions of the lanes relative to the car. Uh, the lanes appear to be narrower. I don't know if that's a more accurate or less accurate representation. Uh, it looked like it was trying to go in the center a little bit, but then it self-corrected. Um, representation of what the uh, car's proportions are relative to the lane. But we're just going to go ahead and do this loop one more time, at least this section, just to see if it does a little bit better. It went over into the center lane the first time I went around this section, but I fear it wasn't necessarily a good solid test because I might have started a little bit out of position. So we'll give the car a second chance. Okay, yeah, that's the speed of our steering wheel. But yeah, pretty. Um, I'm pretty happy with the Model X. Uh, I like how high it rides. Um, you know, some of the, the minor differences, like the doors and the seats, are, are pretty neat compared to the Model S. Um, I certainly don't regret my purchase, though. I very much enjoy the Model S. I like, I prefer having a sedan. I'm not really a big SUV guy. Alright. So, yeah, it's going over to the center lane a little bit on this turn as well. Like, it actually started to, to favor the center on its own, even without my prior manual steering. And that's doing a pretty fine job going back the other way. So yeah, interesting. Um, I will. I have 50.2 installed on my car right now. I'll be getting it back from the dealership sometime tomorrow. Let's see how it does in the stopped car. Ooh, very nice. And once I get it back from the dealership tomorrow, then I'll go ahead and uh, post another test video with the current version that everybody's running. So thanks for watching.